We're gonna bottle feed these two kids and then put them outside. Hi, David. Hi, David. How are you? And Daphne. Petey always gets up on the wrong side of the bed. Don't you? Yes. <laughs> Shanzi. Well, it's gonna be a hot day. You should try to stay out of the sun. How's that? Yes, stay out of the sun. So we have a wild female turkey that has been hanging around our farm the last few days. Uh, maybe she's uh, playing a little hard to get with Fernando. Uh, who knows how long she'll hang out. Uh, but uh, there doesn't seem to be any other turkeys around, uh, especially a Tom, other than Fernando. Uh, so we'll have to see if she uh, hangs out a little bit. Fernando! <laughs> there's a girl over there! She's come to see you! Welcome to the Ten Acre Woods. My name's Mark, and it is going to be a hot one. Uh, it is 9 a.m., and it is already 30 degrees Celsius. Uh, it's supposed to get to 37, 38 degrees Celsius. Uh, that is uh, 45 degrees Celsius with the humidex. So close to 115 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, we're not even in summer yet. Summer starts uh, this Tuesday on the 21st, uh, which is Tara and mine uh, 25th anniversary. So we were trying to figure out what to do. Uh, I think we're going to go into the city and have dinner with the kids. Uh, we don't usually get out too much. Uh, we're here on the farm, and this is kind of where we reside uh, when, well, when I'm not at working. And of course, Tara and Tiana look after the farm uh, regularly. Uh, so it's going to be a hot one, so we're going to... Uh, try to keep cool today. Uh, we've got visitors coming to visit the farm. We're going to start off this morning with uh, some goat yoga for about a dozen people. Uh, so that is one of the fundraisers that we do uh, other than having people come out on the farm to visit. Uh, we also do goat yoga or farm yoga because there's sheep and alpaca and uh, a lot of the other animals that get in there. Uh, but now we are going to head in and uh, start our morning feed routine. All right, Tiana's already at it. She's uh, putting some food in for the alpaca. Uh, Blanche, Bridget, and Bob are actually still here. In the last video I mentioned they would be going to another home. Uh, so they're just getting organized. So we've still got these three sheep here, uh, which were recently sheared. So if you haven't seen that video, um, go back uh, a couple videos and you'll see that. Uh, then we have Henry. <laughs> Henry's right here. This is Henry's spot. Henry is quite a few years old, and uh, he is a uh, he's a feathered rooster, uh, a, a foot feathered rooster. Silky Cochin. Silky Cochin, and you can see all of his fancy feathers down on his feet. Uh, but that is his um, that's his perch. All right. So we are going to, uh, well, a few things. We're going to bottle feed these two kids and then put them outside. Hi, David. Hi, David. How are you? And Daphne. Yes. And then we're going to let the alpaca in, uh, who are waiting patiently along with Petey the pig, and I'm sure Piper's out there somewhere, and Blackie off in the background there. Yeah, lots of mosquitoes. Can't really see that focusing in, but all those blurry dots. Maybe I'll close this to Those me. are all mosquitoes. Um, okay, let David Daphne out. Come on, Daphne. David. David. <laughs> Circled around trying to figure out who has the bottle. <laughs> all right, so every day we put them out in the morning. <laughs> the best way to do it to ensure that they follow, although they do a good job, uh, is you just wait to feed them. And they're going to be right on Tara, like kid goats on bottled milk. <laughs> of course, yeah, they do get underfoot. <laughs> And nice and easy. Hi, Fernando. Nice and easy. And yeah. Hey, 
and then they'll remain outside for the day. And then in the evening, uh, we will put them back in. So they don't have a mom or their mom, uh, well, she is here, so it's Blackie, uh, but she wasn't producing any milk uh, and she had a bout of pink eye. Uh, so all of that said, we uh, brought the kids inside and are now bottle babies. They do have a home. Uh, all of our kid goats, uh, actually most of them, I think there might be, I think Sugar yeah. is one that doesn't. But Tara's well. been toying with the idea of maybe not sending her. She does her, have a home. Not sending her off. Fernando, don't be a jackass. Jerk. <laughs> Fernando, why don't you go uh, look for that girl we saw this morning. See you back there. You know, people have asked, well, why don't you get him a girl? We did get him a couple girls a few years back. He didn't pay any attention to them. He is a people bird. Look. Here, you want a bottle, Fernando? <laughs> All right, have uh, fun. All right, have See fun. Later. Play with the other kids. It'd be nice. Fernando, oh, Fernando. No. Don't. That hurts. You know, it, it's strange how he only does it to Tara and, yeah. Shower him with love, quick. Maybe that's what he's trying to do. Maybe he's trying to jump up to hug you because he loves you so much. Stop it! <laughs> that hurt my push. Oh. Fernando, behave. Go find the girl! Yes! She's out there! She's out back. He's going to get blown away if he keeps that sail up. <laughs> oh, Fernando. Oh. All right, so the other kids. Oh, Edgar. Speaking of uh, a boyfriend, girlfriend, where is your girlfriend, Edgar? Where is she? Hi. Yes. Where's Bun Bun? She's usually, her favorite spot is right in this, uh, in this wooden spool. Oh, there, there she is right there. <laughs> right on call. Oh, right on cue. Hey, Bun Bun. <laughs> she just loves it in there. I guess she just feels nice and safe. Uh, so, <laughs> that's Bun Bun. They came in from two separate uh, homes and uh, then they found each other. Oh, what a true love story. Uh, and then we have the kids. So Holly's kids, we have Moana, which is on the right. And we have, I believe that is Chandler. Uh, Joey is the other one. It's either Chandler or Joey. <laughs> Pretty sure it's Chandler. Uh, then over here we have Moana, uh, not Moana, we just had Moana. We have Mabel and Myrtle. Uh, so M Mabel, is the uh, light-colored one, and Myrtle is this one here. Uh, Onyx. Onyx is looking very black. <laughs> Not so brownish uh, that she, uh, prior to having her uh, her wool sheared. Uh, and then we have, uh, all right, so the one I was talking about was Sugar, which is there, the uh, the white one. Uh, and we have Ross and, wait a minute, no, that's wait. Joey, isn't it? The dark Joey. one. Yeah, I think I had that right. For Joey Ross. Joey is this one, Ross is that one, and I'm pretty sure I was right with Chandler, which is right here. Of course, the Friends crew, if you didn't, uh, if you didn't catch that. Fernando, go find your girl, come on. There you go, in the back, no, no, this way. This way, there you go. All right, where There's you go? There's a girl out there. Go find love, buddy. Don't beat me up. Go find love, love will find a way. And Sheldon. <laughs> All right, so we have Sheldon and Lexi, which is the uh, white one just to the left of Tara. Uh, and then we have, um, uh, Okay, you have to watch for the tipped up 
horns is the way we've figured this out. Uh, so this one's Billie Jean, and then her mother is over there, which is Petunia. Uh, so Petunia's horns, they, they look identical now, uh, oh, but Petunia's lying. horns have a little um, curl uh, to the ends of them. And then of course Coco over there. And I think that covers everything. Well, Billie Jean's darker. Well, yeah, but they are kind of shedding too. Yeah. So they're shedding off their their uh, winter fluff. They're growing in their, um, there's all the winter fluff coming off. Undercoat. Uh, yeah, all that undercoat. So, and yeah, she is darker, right? Actually, that's, uh, that's Billie Jean. Is that what you said? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Because sometimes I think uh, Petunia, uh, Petunia is darker. But uh, it's an ongoing uh, struggle to keep them, <laughs> keep them figured out. <laughs> uh, and then we have, is that Bubba there? No, that's uh, Ritzy. 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 Bubba doesn't move that fast. No. <laughs> Hi, Ritzy. Hi, buddy. Drink of water. Hi. How you doing, Ritz? Not as, uh, not as excitable today. Usually. I'm depressed after he lost. Uh, oh, Squirt? Oh, uh, yeah, Squirt was his, uh, his buddy. And um, so he lost, uh, he lost his buddy. Hey. Oh, yeah, he says, no, I don't want to get wet. I've had too much rain lately. All right, so the kids are all set up in here. It is, um, actually, it's quarter to ten. Our goat yoga class starts at 10 o'clock. Uh, so we will uh, head in the back here and see if we can find, uh, see, let's see if we can make a match. Right, Fernando? Well, I don't see her. She must have, uh, I don't know, headed off back further. Uh, we saw her yesterday and she was wandering around uh, and then we saw her this morning. Uh, and of course, Fernando is is up there, so not interested, uh, as um, as we figured. <laughs> hey, Glenn, how you doing, bud? And Gwen. Uh, so Gwen, um, if uh, if you're new to the channel, Gwen was uh, shot last uh, fall. I believe it was last fall. Uh, so her one wing is broken. Um, so we don't know how that's going to uh, to work out. And this little boy here was actually found um, by a young family, and it was a, a small gosling, and they fed the, uh, the gosling and brought him to us because of the pinwing that you can see right there, uh, the feathers sticking out. Now, what that can be caused from is feeding incorrectly. So, of course, feeding too many carbohydrates, feeding bread, um, can stimulate those uh, feathers and cause them to grow kind of wonky. Uh, so now that he's on a stable diet, uh, we're hoping that once he molts out his feathers, uh, the new ones will grow in fine. Uh, unfortunately for Gwen, it uh, it's hard to say. You know, broken wing, that's not good. Now we have had conservation come by. Somebody in one of the videos, um, because they've been in other videos before, um, somebody likely called and said, oh, Ten Acre Woods has, uh, has some wild animals on their property. Uh, we do. Uh, they are not contained. So the law is, you know, you, you can't take animals from the wild, wild animals, and bring them in and just call them your own. Uh, so they are there. They can leave whenever they like. Unfortunately, they they like it here for one uh, and the other one is um, well Gwen who knows if she will actually be able to fly uh, so we've dealt with and worked with conservation and the provincial vet uh, here over a past number of years uh, there's a new conservation officer that doesn't know the whole situation on what we're about here uh, if we do have animals that are wild uh, peregrine falcon goes to the proper uh, rescue that deals and has the paperwork for uh, falcons and birds of prey. Uh, the black bear we had in, the little cub, that one went off to black bear rescue. Uh, so we bring them in, we give them a safe haven here, and whenever they're ready to go, they're ready to go. Uh, unfortunately, the animal rescue world can be a little bit nasty. 
Um, we figure it's, it's based around jealousy. Um, we've been in business here uh, rescuing animals since 2003, 2004. Uh, so, you know, 15, 16 years we've been doing this uh, and we've had no issues. We haven't had to ask for money, uh, which is a big thing. And I talked about earlier about the uh, fundraising. So we do goat yoga. Uh, we open up our farm to the public. So that's the petting farm aspect of it. Uh, so we've got a really good balance here. Tara and Tiana, they work on the farm. That's their job. Uh, to support the farm to financially and uh, and keep it running and then of course I go out and work off farm on a on a regular job as a uh, mold and asbestos inspector uh, and that supports the household so uh, we've got a really good balance here of course uh, I would like to retire from that and, and be on the farm full-time that would be wonderful these videos do help uh, so liking and subscribing and commenting down below uh, that tells the YouTube algorithm that, hey, you know, this video, um, there's something going on here. Maybe we should show it to some other people. Uh, and then I get subscribers and I get ad revenue from these videos. So, uh, so you just watching these videos uh, are actually helping out our farm. So isn't that cool? Uh, so anyway, that's that. Um, we have the alpaca that have already been fed and are likely now going to go out back. So there goes Java. Hi, hi, bud. Uh, now Java and um, he came in with uh, five other, five others, one, two, three, uh, four others, and three of them uh, were rehomed, uh, and it was just from a farm that um, you know didn't have the space for them, was getting out of uh, having alpaca. Uh, and just cutting down their numbers. So we get animals in for a number of different reasons and we rehome them just because we can't have too many animals here on the farm. So we have to watch our numbers uh, that we uh, aren't overpopulated. So that's Paula there uh, and Shanzi and uh, Jasper, I guess are still inside. Morning, Sebastian. Good morning. How you doing? Yeah. you. Gonna go for a bath? <laughs> oh, Turbo, look at you. <laughs> now, when we were getting uh, the sheep sheared, uh, Tara asked, she says, is Turbo fat? And she goes, well, yeah, he is fat. Um, but what is a weathered sheep to do? Really, all they do, there's no breeding going on, so there's no fighting for dominance. There's no running around chasing the girls. All he does is he eats and poops, basically, and, and that's it. So yeah, he doesn't get that exercise. So he is a little overweight. Uh, and then we have, uh, looks like Tinker over there and George over there. Uh, and then of course, Bronwyn. Bronwyn's still shedding out. Hi, girl. Look at you, you're looking pretty rough. <laughs> In another uh, couple weeks, or a week even, uh, she'll look pretty slick. She'll have a nice new coat, uh, and she'll be uh, ready for summer. And Blackie. So this is David and Daphne's mama. And I believe Blackie is probably the oldest animal here on the farm. Uh, so she came in uh, with her mother, Silver. Uh, oh, that was uh, 24. 14, I want to say, um, and um, yeah, she's got her health issues, uh, but she's doing good. You know, we just give her that little extra treatment. She goes in uh, and she gets some uh, some extra nutrients and uh, and food when the alpaca go in. So just taking taking uh, that, that giving her that little extra amount. Uh, this is our mud pit. <laughs> Uh, the pond has actually gone down to a point where it's not overflowing into this area here. Uh, so now it's just a matter of this kind of sinking into the ground. Uh, and of course we want this area to kind of dry out because we'd like to get in and clean out the barn. Uh, which we're in no big rush for. We just want to make sure it gets cleaned out before next winter, of course. Uh, and then we have uh, Piper. Morning, Piper. What side of the bed did you wake up this morning on? The good side or the grumpy side? 
Yeah, it's hard to say with Piper. Petey, we always know. There's Bubba. Morning, Bubba. <laughs> Bubba's old and doesn't get around much. Petey always gets up on the wrong side of the bed. Don't you? Yes. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> I think it's because Piper is always sleeping on the possible good side, so he has to get up on the other side all the time. <laughs> uh, roosters, rabbits, and guinea fowl in there. Well, Shanzi, what are you doing? Are you not going out with the rest of them? Well, it's going to be a hot day. You should try to stay out of the sun. How's that? Yes, stay out of the sun. Go back in the shade. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Jasper must have snuck by me. So we've got Paula by the pond there. Uh, we have Java out back further. And uh, Jasper sometimes goes on a walkabout by himself way out back. Uh, all right, so that's it. Nothing in here but a couple roosters. <laughs> and uh, this is the indoor area. We have had some rain, had thunder showers yesterday. Uh, so all of the mamas and uh, the sheep from that area uh, come into here. And this is uh, where they spend their night and to get out of the rain. All right, looks like uh, there's just a couple roosters in here. We have Mr. Alpha here, which I believe he is Alpha. And a couple uh, little minions, his minions. Uh, and then we've got the other crews over there. So we've got the Rooster Crew B and Rooster Crew C in with the girls, which I think consists mainly of, of Billy. There's Billy. <laughs> and another, we got another rooster there. Let's see uh, what mood Billy is in today. Hi, good morning, Billy. He says, no, 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 don't want any. <laughs> don't want any. I'm just, I'm a rabbit. Just pay no attention to me. <laughs> oh, I can feel, you can probably see the glistening already happening. Uh, I might have to just change my shirt and put on something a little more breezy. Because uh, it's now 10 o'clock and it is warm. Uh, so it looks like the ponies and our male goats are probably up front. Uh, so we'll go and see where they're at. Oh, Billy, I should have known. <laughs> You're on your rock. <laughs> uh, Billy loves his rocks. Hey, bud. Do you? You love your rocks. Where's, uh, where's Carl? Hey. He must be with the ponies. Or he's hanging out still in bed. I don't know. Uh, I see the, uh, the ponies are up here. We haven't filled our grain bin yet. Uh, we've been waiting for a weekend where there's no rain in the forecast. Uh, so, you know, we just want to make sure uh, that uh, everything goes smoothly. Here's the unit here, the auger. Uh, we've uh, covered the motor over on the other end uh, to make sure that doesn't get wet. And it looks like Daisy and Levi are way out there. And uh, they've left Meadow here. Hi, Meadow. Hi, girl.
Yeah, Billy's still on his boulder. Hey, bud. <laughs> Those flies bugging you? Yeah. <laughs> and Carl is actually inside his house, as I thought. Hey, bud. You staying cool in here? Yeah, it's hot out, isn't it? <laughs> All right. You stay in the shade, bud. <laughs> So that is it for another video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, and if you have any comments, uh, please leave them down below. If you like this video, don't forget to uh, give it a slap on that thumbs up uh, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Uh, and uh, until next video, which will be Tara's gardening video, uh, as we've split up the animal portion and the gardening portion uh, into two separate dates. So we're looking at Wednesday, Thursday, uh, for Tara's release and find out how she's making out in the garden. Take care, have a wonderful week, happy Father's Day to all your fathers out there, and we will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.